is up y'all it's me tasha c and if y'all are listening to this podcast another many a podcast i don't know if it's episode 37 38 you're going by that uh as far as the number um if you listen like i said again my podcast is on speaker shout out to speaker and on uh, various other platforms so if you're listening there you are listening to the tasha c show if you are watching on YouTube and just have to be loaded here, then you are listening to the auto. Um, that is like, this is day 42 of my 365 video journey. So again, you will not be seeing my face and I'm just going to be talking. I know it's almost like 1.30 in the morning and my sleeping pattern has been off for the past two weeks anyway. So I don't go to sleep as early and it's completely knocked out. I mean... If I'd get up early, say, to go somewhere, I will. But, um, it's hard for me to go to sleep anyway to, like, late. So, I'm kind of experiencing a little, you know, some insomnia a little bit. So, uh, I figure, why not just get, um, today, Monday, November the 18th, 2019, you know, a video in. Of course, as usual, y'all, I just be rambly talking. I don't have anything scheduled, you, you know, or together. Um... I thought about this a little bit. Now, I may, may not, even though I said before, possibly may review the Soul Train Awards. Like I said, I plan on starting this week. My goal is to start to going back to making videos, videos, as far as its reviews. Um, Because, like I said, last week, it just seemed like when the weather changed, y'all, and I know I keep talking about my hydrogenized, my HS. And then, like I said, sometimes my bronchitis and asthma would be waiting for enough time so it can flare up in hospital. My body, which is my immune system for some reason, it just was like a little bit on the draggish side. So, a winter storm, middle of fall, all of a sudden, they just threw it off. So, I was like, you know what? Now, I work with these, uh, these podcasts because the lovely convenience of recording a whole podcast on a phone app. You even got to go to the laptop, you even got to go to the desktop, you can just sit here and go on your phone app and record. It's beautiful, it is delightful, it is wonderful, okay? So, that why that was why it was easy for me to do that. Of course, it wouldn't be easy at all if I couldn't say, be, you know, couldn't really half breathe, right? You know, be like, excuse me and stuff, you know, I have to stop pausing because I have to catch my breath, literally, what is left of it. But, you know, last week was just one of those weeks where, like I said, the weather was uh, um, really off of it. Now it's supposed to be like, we are going to get a couple of days, it's 40 degrees and a 10 day, uh, po- uh, 10 day forecast. I was going to say podcast. <laughs> uh, um, so it won't be as bad. Cause that's usually the weather we usually get in. Anyway. Sometimes still like a 50, it's something like a 50 some degrees or something, but it's just that it was, and you know, kind of off, the scale of the weather, and it threw, you know, my, threw me off, so, what I'm going to talk about first is, like I said, I was thinking about doing the, uh, the Soul Train Awards, I've seen a couple of snippets, and they always said the Snow Train, I don't say Snow Train, it is Soul Train, how can I do that, I used to occasionally used to watch Snow Train, so trained ever since I was, you know, kidding. You know, they had sometimes the reruns and stuff. And, you know, I watched it with Don Cornelius, like the button when Don Cornelius was still also hosting it. And then they had like some more, you know, that like different hosts, whatever, sometimes. Um, but, you know, I don't even know that sh- I don't think it runs anymore. Okay. So, um,. But I heard the Soul Train Wars was very good. I've seen snippets of it in the last couple of years, but I never had watched it. Like, even tonight, I kind of just seen the beginning, like, performance of Tisha and, you know, and, uh, Tisha and, uh, I don't always get their names up because they're so close together. Tanisha and, Ta- Tanisha, okay, Tisha and Tanisha, okay, I'm just going to say that. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Tanisha Arno and Tisha Campbell, okay. Um, they, you know, were hosting again. And I know Yolanda Adams just did her own performance tribute. Um, also, Stump, so Walker, that's a whole, that's kind of a deep, you know, discussion. But you know how, not, you know, sometimes I might bring a little entertainment about Summer Walker has uh, uh, recently has said that she's going to, you know, 
basically just continue doing her tour and her social anxieties bothering her, which when I watched the tiny desk, you know, she was holding this little stuffed animal and after her performance. I mean, she still do very well considering also she's dealing with social anxiety. And, um, she even said, you know, this is hard. Cause the way she talks, you could tell like, um, I mean, it just seems like you, could, you just can't make assumptions about some people just because of the way they talk. But she kind of seems like she's very reserved or more so like an introvert. And tonight she just said a couple words like, thank you. I don't to thank the records of blah, blah, blah. And I think, you know, London or track because, you know, he helped produce out. I think they're still together. Because, you know, they broke up for like for 12 hours and I think got back together again. And, um... But, you know, with some people who were laughing about it, laughing about, you know, like they record it and they're laughing about this. Or some people think it's an acting stuff. And anxiety ain't nothing to play with, y'all. Like I said, I may, may not discuss about it. It may take some months, several months before I, you know, talk about it and I leave it as that. Um, but the the thing is, people say, well, if she was, I don't know whether she was a stripper or not. I don't know if people are assuming that just because... She loves to pole dance, loves to pole, whatever. Now, if I had the building possible, you know, bust my ass or any darn thing, I think that's a dope-ass skill, be able to swing yourself around a pole, you know, and stuff like that. Some people use it as, like, an exercise. You know how much arm balance, and you just balance, and you holding yourself up, and you basically doing gymnastics, twerk, twerk, twerk twerkastics, that's a combination of twerk and gymnastics together, word I put together, twerkastics and all this stuff, trying to do that stuff, that, that's what I'm thinking, maybe she might like that, or oh, shout out to, I just think, she used to be a YouTuber, but I can understand why she took, uh, was like, uh, like, you know, deuces, and she, um, you know, does pole dancing classes and stuff like that, and it's basically like more so like an exercise, or you know, more so like a sport for some uh, uh, women, and there are some some men, uh, you know, so forth that may all do that. But it's it's not. I don't know if that's. I don't never heard her saying. I heard that she was had a cleaning business for uh, a couple years before you know her career took off and stuff. So the thing I'm just going to say this is just hopefully maybe they should have like you know better media training. Maybe a good therapist, a great therapist that can talk to her and help her during this time. Or maybe another option is, since she's also a dope writer and she knows to play guitar, maybe she might be better off, like, getting them coins in the background. You know what I'm saying? She may, you know, whatever. And then some people complain about they had meet and greet and she didn't feel comfortable about touching. As I'm saying this, is that if she's got anxiety and she's not getting the proper treatment for that, Okay, and I mean, probably to me, it's like, you don't just give her meds if she needs meds, and they're not the right ones, and the side effects outdo the so-called possibility people get, you know, how people, you know, how we see these commercials, y'all, most of us do, um, and they'll be like, here, this will help you, but you might possibly have, you know, a, a dry cough, you know, your stomach may bleed, you know, had to run to the, run to the bathroom, you're like, you know, there's a possibility you may be in the hospital for three whole months, and so and such, so talk to your doctor about the results, you know, your feet may turn green, you know, all this other stuff, so, um, it's all about, you know, somebody who is really concerned about her well-being overall, you know, and that's all I'm going to talk about that. But like I said, I may may not review it, but that's my goal to get back on there. And since Love at the Lockup, I know I keep saying that again. I just seen a Stark has not getting another update of Tracy and Matt, uh, Clint. I was going to say Matt. I'm mixing two people together. But uh, if this is going to be on Life at the Lockup and they back on there again, definitely we need the popcorn. That's all I'm about not about to say. Starcasm does not, I don't think, have a social media outlet. Starcasm, I think, is, you know, spelled uh, together. But they have a lot of good info. And then they still want a few, like I said, websites that are still open. Because you know how websites, if you have Starcasm, you just put S-T-A-R-C-A-S-M dot net. And, that, like I said, that's a lot right there. Anyways... Besides that, like I said, the Soul Train Awards, like I said, I heard a bit. Also, I noticed there, because I, I, like I said, I have a following section of who I call Sexual Chocolate, who, if y'all watch my over reviews, which I know I'm an episode behind, but definitely watch, like, Really Be TV. No, Really Be TV. No, watch hers. She reviews Sisters. She does a review Oval. Some, um, J- Jaylee's Corner reviews the Oval 
and sisters. Um, James Caldwell reviews both Oval and the and the sisters. Um, Av, I'm trying to remember who else is top of my head. I also want to get both review both of these new Tire BTVD shows because Bonnie Boo she reviews sisters. Ashley Miller's reviews the Oval. So some of us only review one show, and some of us, you know, only review the oh, like one or two episodes. We say forget it, which is understandable. And some of us just do some of us. But yeah, it's a guy. If y'all watch the Oval, I like called Sidley Chocolate. And I think his name is Br- Brandy. Barry or something on the show, and he was he was there, and you know he was thanking God how far it came. It just and he was at the soda because I know they said the cast because I seen like I said the intro the cast of over. I'm like oh okay, yeah they got sexual chocolate on there. Okay I know that was off the subject, but yeah he was at the soda train rules. I could talk about him, Mister Sexual Chocolate. I know his name. I think his name is Travis. I mean he's more than just sexual chocolate. It's just a nice bonus that he's very. Handsome sexual chocolate. I <laughs> let me stop talking about him like he's just sexual chocolate. But anyway, so um, I may be watching that. The way that well, I'm hearing this stuff about the Sea Potomac, y'all, I may actually review it next year. That's all I got to say. I may actually review it because the way you're hearing this stuff between Cannibal and, and, and these all this stuff, I'm like, nah, that's a shoe. Nah, I, that's I said a shoe, a show that I have not reviewed yet. Period. I have not reviewed any seasons at all. Um, but I may have to review it. It also depends how everything goes. The way if you you know, I'm I'm just keeping it real. How YouTube is by that time, if I'm gonna review it or not as well. Um. Let's just say when I uh, when I was watching Lovely T uh, G Shadow, I was like this. You know what? Let me go ahead and delete uh Preacher's Daughters reviews because they've been passed and gone. That show don't come on no more. And also, I got rid of Brent Bring It, so um they on season twelve during there anyway or something like that. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm good because <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'll go ahead and get 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 those. And I had to change some fun fun uh, um thumbnails around that had kids in the in the in the thing you know even David like for example y'all David makes men may have children as some of the actors because they're still at yeah, adolescents are still kids okay then you get 18 you're a legalized kid whatever but you know you're still considered adolescents or a teenager okay until you get to the age of 20 so uh, some of the the main cast members are like um, the young man, Akili, I hope I'm saying his name correctly, who plays David, was playing 14, but he still was only 16, see what I'm saying? And his brother, we know darn well he still is losing teeth, you know, baby teeth and stuff, who plays, you know, J, JT or JG, I forgot, uh, J, JG. So, and you know, they had a couple other kids, you know, that also played in the role. So, I, mm-mm, no, I'm like switching thumbnails. Because, like I said, even though it has children in there, it's not really, I mean, unless older kids and maybe the parents, the guardians were watching them to give them understanding, it's not completely a show for kids, you know what I mean? So, you know, you're going to have kids sometimes in these shows, and they have adult themes or mature themes, even though kids are part of the cast, or being part of the cast. So, anyways, other than that, y'all... Um, I originally wanted to talk about, I don't, um, I had thought about, like, I was, I said a couple of videos ago, maybe last week or maybe before that, I was like, I was going to talk about the 80s and 90s cartoons, but I'm like, I'm just going to word it a little different, I just have a couple questions about some of the material I was watching, and I'm like, even though it's supposed to be meant for kids, I don't think kids are supposed to be watching it, okay? Um... Now, besides this, I've seen, I, I, I don't click on it, but somebody I know who does reviews, um, they review a lot of shows, different genes, different shows, whatever, you know, whatever, right? I said genes, but you know what I'm getting at, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, I sat here and, uh, see more, Rick and Rick and Marty or Morty, that crazy show, I be actually seeing, like, snippets of the show, but of course, I don't watch that crazy stuff. I, uh-uh, not for me. But I have two questions, y'all, about, really precisely at the moment, I'm just going to talk about two um, cartoons, questions. 
there was a show that actually used to be a kid cartoon show that was called Cops, okay? You had the cops, and then you had the robbers. And I remember this chick, you had the chick who had red burgundy hair, and she looked at, like, you know, she could have been, I think she was supposed to be a black woman, and she used to rob stuff. And you had the boy, I'm just telling you how the heck it was. This was supposed to be, <laughs> this was supposed to be for kids. Maybe that's why it only lasted one season. The cop ends up proposing, and I think that was the last op- episode that I've seen, um, that he ends up proposing because he was actually in a relationship with, like like I said, the Robin team. Yeah, it actually was a show called Cops, okay? October 1988, and guess what it ended, y'all? February 20, 1989, but he used to come on, like, the channel before Turner WB and all this other stuff. Oh, they supposed to be fighting. Ain't this something, y'all? I didn't know they were supposed to be fighting, um, fighting crime in, for the year 2020, which is interesting, y'all, because it's about to be 2020, and I never knew that for some weird reason. I actually liked it to show. Okay? So, it came out premiere originally around my dirt birthday, October the 5th. Oh, gosh. I, I can't. <laughs> yeah, Central Organization of Police Specialists. Yeah, but that's what I say. There was actually um a show called Cops, and I remember that the he proposed to the team or the robber, you know, the corrupt, the criminal, and actually she said yes. He proposed to her while she got arrested again. Oh, that's what they call crooks, a crime syndicate that commits crimes. Now, they got big boss, but that's what I'm saying is, like, I didn't see when it end. You know, because like I said, it was only different, but I'm just saying, I had questions about that. There was a lot going on here. And why is it proposing to somebody? I, 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 I can't. I don't, I don't even know what the girl's name was. I didn't know what his name was, y'all. But if y'all remember, the damn there was a damn cartoon call the cops and and like I said she was like a thief that be still in jury and stuff and he just proposed her proposed to her that is insulting like I mean people opposite are trash but the fact is was like okay so you gonna end up marrying somebody who is a robber you supposed to be fighting crime and your girl is up here stealing stuff or what I, you know i was confused i mean i don't know why uh oh oh that's what the girl's name was her name's jane i wonder what jane's like yeah her name was nightshade yeah i'm on wikipedia as usual oh uh, rockefellia Di- rockefellia diamond but as i'm saying this i don't she looks like she could be you know yeah, she's it, she works for now for Big Boss. That's the Big Boss over the you know the people like to you not know, commit crimes and everything. You know the little crime mob, whatever. Right? Um, she now works for police. Oh, she turned okay. She got born. She was actually from a rich family. Got this own. Turned the crop and this exotic jury for fill of it. Not out of financial needs. So this half of for the village is still stuff just for the heck of it. I, like I said, I was a little kid, you know, so I, I didn't know what was going on. She was a secret level Mason reforms so her after the boss kidnapped after young season force night she had to pull off a major heist. So, oh, maybe that's why they got uh, about to get married. But yeah, it was a guy who wore shades, and that's what I said. I was like, I know for a fact that they got engaged. It was just the whole thing was just like head scratching, and that was one of the plot lines was. You know, two people from two sides across the road. Okay, they had a bunch of people. Yeah, Sergeant Cole Mays, a police sergeant who works for the Philadelphia Police Department. He is known for his tactical strategies. His latest, Musica, and his love for a fin fat tail named Nightshade. Uh, Mace is a representative of the squad. You know, yeah, so I don't know how to, you know, I, well, that's a Netflix pick it up or whatever, makes a new who show about it. I don't know how. Yeah, yeah, y'all. Did y'all ever see the damn co- cartoon show uh, called Cops? <laughs> I don't know. It always had me in, scratch my head, you know. But that's what I'm saying is, even the gauge we proposed to her while she was behind bars or whatever. <sighs>
I digress. <laughs> Man, see, here's another question I want. Now you already know I refuse to see that that hit that that mess of a movie called Jim and how they did the characters. I'm like, I'm, I'm, mm-mm. some things are meant to be remaining, some things are meant to be classic. Because Jim didn't even, you know, got canceled after certain amount of years. It was one of them shows, it lasts longer, if y'all remember that during Max, Maxie was kind of like, <clears throat> Maxie's World, it was a cartoon based on, you know, they, uh, they're like, you know, they had dials. I think dials came out first. You know, they made a couple, you know, like Brad the dials seemed like they had a thing. They had what the heck? Oh yeah, it was October. What the heck? How many they can't premiere it? Uh, uh premiere the shows. Now it now here's the interesting stuff. It actually the gems the cartoon was October the sixth, nineteen eighty five. It last episode date was May the second, nineteen eighty eight. And Hey, it was Jim and Jim and the Holograms. I knew it was short, and I actually used to like that show, but three episodes. But ain't that something? They had three seasons and 65 episodes. That cop one had 66. I know, like, you're yelling, you're like, why the hell is she talking about some damn cartoons? But I had questions, because I used to watch even things, sometimes watch Chanfar, G.I. Joe, The Care Bears, uh, Rainbow Bright. Now, that's interesting. They never really bought Rainbow Bright. And, like I said, that's a whole other story. I feel like, you know, to seem like. The, ponies, even though a lot of people like My Little Ponies, whatever, they were nice and friendly in, when it came, when, you know, I was a kid, and, you know, like the Care Bears now, and then they got Strawberry Shortcake, they someone brought her back, and then she went bye-bye again, they didn't bring back Rainbow Bright that much, I'm surprised they didn't bring her back on the kids, maybe they, well, I don't know, maybe because a bunch of kids live by themselves with stuff, with some damn talking horses, and these darn sparkly furry things and stuff, I don't know why, <laughs> <laughs> it's too much, <laughs> but um, J- but the thing is, is that if y'all remember the Jim cartoon, Jim, you know her dad, you know it was like two sisters, Jim, and then her sister had the red hair, and then the rest of them were like her sisters, but they were adopted, and you know they had like you know rainbow colors of people. One of the girl young ladies, I think, that played in the band was Asian, and one of those put a purple hair rock. I forgot what her name was, but she was the black girl played. Did she play on keyboards or guitar? I forgot. I ain't about to Wikipedia that up anymore. I just got off the page, but. What I wanted to talk to y'all about, y'all, was like, this was some soap opera-ish right here. Now, I remember one of the things with Jim was she had a man. Okay, I don't know if Jim was supposed to be like a musical girlish version of like Superman or something like that. Because of, you know, because if y'all read the information, if y'all never has seen Jim and the spell with a J... And one time, I, my, that was mom made a bootleg costume of that. I didn't have Jim's hair color, which was pink. I just had the cute, like, you know, she had red star earrings that, like, you know, had special effects to them, did special powers. And they talked to, like, a computer android or something. To, not an android, but a computer that would help them change into their costume because they're playing the band. You know, they were like normal day by girls and day. But then they had secret identities. And even though you don't really see the difference, because all Jim, as far as Jessica, that's what she was. She had, had blonde, she was blonde with blonde hair. And then she changed when she goes to Jim. She has, you know, this is how, what they changed was, of course, the enemies was called the Misfits. And they were our turn of grand with the main leader, had green hair and all this stuff. And they had, like, Kissing, some of them had, like, Kiss-inspired mess- makeup. Y'all heard about that. But I never listened, really, to Kiss songs. But I'm talking about, you know, how the, the signature makeup look. As far as the eyeshadow and stuff. So, Jim, they, you know, they had their little... Jim also had, like, the star that come on her face, like a pink star. Yeah, okay, but anyway, that's that's what would change. When, you know, they get surged and she presses on them earrings, she able to change between Jessica and Jim through these earrings her daddy made. Like, Jim, the hologram, oh, that's the hologram's name, the group, okay. But anyways, y'all, like I said, with the boyfriend thing, I was surprised she never had confronted him about it. But Jim was playing two different people, Jessica and Jim, the same person. But she up here kissing Rico, whatever his name was, or I forgot what his name was. And I always question, like, ain't this, especially when I got older, like, ain't this about something? So he basically cheated on her with her. 
And but the thing is, he don't know about it. She was one time trying to tell him a couple times, but he didn't want to listen. And I'm thinking like she okay the fact that technically he thinking he was some other female and with Jim who's the rock star and with Jessica and Jessica or Jim ain't confronting him about this. Like you double teaming me and you <laughs> and I let me show you who I really am. Search whatever the heck she does with the earrings because she's tapped the earrings. I think saying saying. But I always was like, I don't think this scene is kind of, you know, it's really meant for kids neither. Because it's pretty much this guy without his knowledge knowing. He's really having an affair and basically made Jim is actually his side chick. But it's actually the same chick as Jessica he was going with. But she sometimes be kissing and going with dates as Jessica and going with Jim. And she, don't, I'm just like... <laughs> I'm just like, I, I just thought about maybe I think that was an inappropriate theme or too complex for kids. Yeah, as I was saying, so she would just change and. <laughs> oh, yeah, Synergy. That was the name of the computer. I'm sorry, I did still have it on the page. So, you know, I'm just keep. Who was the name of her? Her man. Uh, that man she was going with. Um. Uh, the misfits what the who the hell uh besides the misfits i don't know that was the main people stringers who the hell's the stringers oh okay um i guess there was another enemy that's when i probably didn't look at the thing because i didn't i knew the misfits i don't know about no damn string string people rio oh there's a oh rio i didn't know it was a childhood t- t- long time childhood friend and boyfriend um, he's a role manager and engineer for the holograms. He loves trying to go hatch up shit, which involves something more as a serious progressive. So that's what I'm saying is he don't know and never knew the secret at all. And being childhood friends with Jim, with Jessica, my bad, and eventually having an affair with Jim over time, and he don't see the difference that he never sees Jessica or Jim or you know like at the same time. Oh my gosh. Just <laughs> I don't know y'all like why the hell is she talking about cartoons? But it like I said, I mean they we have as grow there's a lot of cartoons that have adult themes in it, even though they're supposedly made for kids. Or, you know, question like I said, like that random skippy, oh that that was too much. Cat dog was something else, a cow and a chicken and it Ed Ed and Eddie it wasn't like gross and mature mature theme or whatever, but it had its moments, but, um, Hey Arnold, Dill Bull, it was just, yeah, I watched that too, when it first originally came out, Doug, and this, <laughs> I'm just like, Jim, and Cosmo, something else, you know, and, like I said, Mexi's Tribe, but it didn't last past, I think, a season, and Beverly Hills, they, I think they had Barbie Dolls too, and they came out around the same time, Maxi World, I guess it was competition with Bobby and them, because Jim used to have her old doll in the holograms. My mama didn't give me none of that. No, she didn't give me no Jim dolls. I, I mean, I had Barbies, but I wanted Jim, too, in the holograms. <laughs> Other than that, y'all, let me get off here. It's about to be 2 o'clock. I'm starting to get sleepy again. I just wanted to talk about some random stuff. Well, like I said, I'll. Oh, that's my goal to hopefully be back on. Um, doing some reviews and just want to uh, the vent about you know uh, <laughs> you know some of the stuff we see on TV. And, and just to confess, y'all, I have never seen Frozen besides a couple clips of it, so I probably need to watch it before I see Frozen Two. And a lot of people I didn't know liked the Incredibles like that. I of course never seen Incredible ones. I sure didn't see Incredible Two. Okay, but I didn't know so many people so excited and hyped about it. It's grown ups. Like I'm like I really must gotta see this film. But uh, anyway, y'all, hugs and loves, God bless, and I'll see y'all in the next podcast, or hear y'all hear and see from me. Okay, take care.